okay hi guys hi ladies um so just a moment ago i was eating digestive biscuits and then i was like okay why not model digestive biscuits so that's what i'm about to do so i mean it's not gonna be very hard it's not gonna be hard at all actually because it's just a secular stuff and I'd like you to come along with me on this journey of making our food on SolidWorks and I hope that in so doing that everyone of us will get hungry in the process. Alright so to eat now. So I would first of all pick up my top plane and draw a circle. Mm, how big should it be? It shouldn't be too big. So I'll say, what is this? 150 millimeter. Okay, um, let's say about 70, 70 millimeters. So let's say 70. And mind you, this is my first trial of SolidWorks 2019. Yeah. So I just got the software. So I'll extrude this and I'll say, let me extrude by four. Four millimeters. Okay, that's kind of small. So let's say five millimeters. Let's say okay. Yeah. And so the next thing would be to create a fillet on this edge here. So let's say the fillet of two. Fillet of two. Okay, that kind of looks. Let's not make it this. See this. Let me see. Funny critters. Okay, this should be better. Only if I said 15. And this is, uh, let's see, 2.5. Hmm. Let's see, 5 here. I hope this works okay yeah that's fine so we have this biscuit here and then next okay so it has a couple of holes um create a sketch here and i would say create this so i don't think the holes are actually that um Like, they're not perfect circles. Okay, yeah, so like the random shape. So I'll just do this. I'll create this one here. This way. And then also draw a circle somewhere like here. Um, to give it some kind of randomness. Alright, so let's see. Okay. So with this, as okay, it doesn't go all the way down. I doubt that. Don't mind me, I've eaten the whole of the biscuit, so if not, I would have just gone there to you know check it. <laughs> okay, I think it goes all the way down. So true all. And then this. So this should also be created with the fillet. So let's say fillet of one. Circle here, let's say 0 0.5, 0 0.3. Okay, 0 0.3 is good. And then here, so, so I don't need this, I just need circular. Okay, so I've done that, I'll do the same here and here. Yeah, okay, so this is fine. But at this point, I would bring in my so sketch again. I'll bring in the Mac Vitis and picture um, to sketch two. 
sketch picture. So the picture is here in download. So I select on this. Open this. Oh, this is kind of big. So I reduce it to the size. Bring it this way. Um, transparency full image. So I just make it kind of transparent so I can see where this goes. Yeah, this is really 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 nice okay so yeah okay we'll check so now we have the magnetics here i don't know if that's how it's pronounced <laughs> all right it's done so go to auto trace i might not use the auto trace it just depends on if it's gonna work well so auto trace um use ah I don't think it's going to work so what i'll do is i'll just go back to my spline you know how it is now so trace it out really smooth and because i want this to be perfect i'm going to be you know coming in and out of the spline so i could just do it once but um, i think i have time try and make it kind of perfect so So that's that for the digestive part. So that's Macvitis or Macvitis. I don't know. And then lastly, the original. You know what? So the original looks like a straight text. So we're gonna play very smart with this one, and which means I'm just going to, you know, draw a spline like this. I'm so grateful for the people that wrote the original. They just saved me right now. So for construction, and then this. So I'd say text on this curve. And type it in here. The original. Okay, so it's kind of, yeah. So we increase the distance between this. There's no point doing all of this if I'm not going to try to make it very good. So 
Okay, that font looks too. No. Let me see. Bold is gonna work. Okay, from bold. Okay, 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 okay. Is this again? Um, ah. What is this? <laughs> Tahoma. Tahoma, Tahoma. Let's see what you got. Tahoma. Mm. Okay, this looks like the best to use. Like, seriously. So, I'm kind of going to use this one. Does really matter where the original is written. Okay, so that's this and I exit this sketch. So at this point um we need to extrude cut all of this really nice um fonts into our biscuit. So I'll go back into the sketch, edit sketch, um let's change the view. Okay, so it's looking this way go to features and extruded cuts yeah so we have this cutting down and then since the thickness of this biscuit is about five so let's say 1.5 that should be good and then I'll say check hopefully this works out very fine because of the mmm Okay, so I think it works out well actually. Haven't done that, we're almost done. I'm gonna click on this and suppress this um, our biscuit picture. I know it's sad that we have to let the biscuit go. And so I, I no longer need this to be visible. I make this um, kind of invisible here now. In, yes, height. Okay, this is this is actually not bad. <laughs> At this level, all we need to do is to add this um, hose around the biscuit. So to make it easier, I would have said I should use the fill pattern, but I would rather just go back to the original sketch and edit it. So okay so at this point i would copy out this and place at several positions copy entities yes this point okay all right let me just dress dress circles all around because it seems as to it's going to be And I will just change this to a circle. Um, okay, let's leave this that way. <laughs> no, that's quite odd. And then, um, so let me dimension one of them. Just so that they all have the same size. So let's say this is 1.3. Okay. Okay, you know what? Let's do it this way. Yeah, that's faster. Then remove this. So, um, I should remove this dimension. Okay. So, existing relations. And then we add equal. Yeah, that's good. And exit sketch. Alright, so this is. So at this point, we're going to apply fillet to all of the holes just created, and I'll just do this. Um, select them one by one. And then we reduce the radius to 0 0.2. 0 0.20 millimeters. That should be good. 
yeah okay so the next thing we have to do is to create like make it a little bit more realistic so we're going to try to add materials and render this i doubt there's a biscuit um, material for solidworks so um we're just going to deal with something that looks i mean the closest to to a biscuit to this biscuit texture and that should be i think sand <laughs> yeah sand okay i hope there's sand here somewhere yeah there's sand so I applied sand to the old body yeah okay so this looks like the biscuits and then we save this um, let's make it this way so we save so here we are and then I go over to new project so this is the SOLIDWORKS Visualize Professional. Um, it's an add-in that comes with SOLIDWORKS software when you install the full package. And so I'll just use this. I prefer to use this to create my renderings. Import Biscuit. Snap to flow, okay. okay so this is our biscuits i think the color is kind of darker than normal so hopefully we should be able to find um, another material here This is what we have here. Our Mac Fitties biscuits created with SolidWorks 2019 and also rendered with SolidWorks Visualize Professional 2019. So, we catch you up in the next video.